Hello everyone, welcome to another electric playthrough. My name is Rob and today I'm going to be playing The Lion King for Super Nintendo. This is a game that a lot of people remember fondly and sometimes not so fondly from their childhood. Uh, it can be really difficult at times. And um, basically this playthrough is just going to be me showing you some, some, uh, some strategies and giving you some hints and tips and stuff for how to get through this famously difficult children's game. So yeah, most of these enemies can be destroyed by jumping on them. This game start this game, this game pretty much has two segments. You have young Simba and adult Simba. And young Simba, okay, flip this guy over, he growl out. Young Simba is mostly about platforming and um, jumping on enemies' heads. Adult Simba is more about slashing enemies and throwing them, and it's kind of a totally different game, really. It almost feels like a sequel, but anyways. This little hidden area down here, ooh, it's got a one-up. You can knock these guys over instead of roaring by rolling. And you roll by running and pushing down. Which can come in handy, mostly against the porcupines. That was a uh, continue, if you need it. But I will attempt to not need any continues. So you're basically just climbing up Pride Rock. I've got that checkpoint. Just here. And this will increase your roar meter. Not sure what most of the bugs do. The, the the yellow and then this white and yellow one below us refill health. Definitely want those. So for the boss of the first level, it's just a hyena. Once he attacks twice, he gets tired, and that's your chance to jump on his head. Otherwise, he's pretty much invincible. There you go. Dead. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Good old James Earl Jones. And now we get a mini game. It's your chance to get one ups and continues. Basically, catch as many bugs as you can. I'll try and trick you by dropping a slow one like that. Ooh, that was close. I think it's 10 bugs per life. It's actually pretty fun. Oh, there we go. All right, that was pretty good. Now this is the level that everybody remembers and everybody hates. Just can't wait to be king. You wanna keep moving. The trick to not falling there is to run then jump instead of jumping and then trying to run, you know, like you wanna push forward a split second before you jump to give yourself that little extra oomph. All right, we're with that monkey. The pink ones can be turned around. Those two going. And then the rhinos get the ball rolling. And we move on to my least favorite parts of this level. Ride the ostrich. In this first segment, there's gonna be arrows to jump and duck. Now, whenever you have to do a double jump, that's where I was always getting stuck. You want to pay attention to the geometry of the ostrich and make sure he makes it between the baby rhino or hippo or whatever that is and the nest. It's a very small thing, but focus more on the ostrich than you are on Simba. So here's an easy place to die. Make sure you had that checkpoint. And the way grabbing things works in this game is you kind of have to make sure that the thing is in front of you. You don't want to jump through it like this. Oh, that was a bad example. But like, see how I'm not grabbing it? You want it to be like in Simba's face. So if you fall in this water, you die. So see how I'm kind of like going to the left of those things? Get your one up. And once again, if you do die, but you're able to make it to that one up, you can try over and over again because it'll just keep respawning for you. There we go. 
Now this part, same thing again, except now there are no arrows. Jump, and I think now it's jump, jump. Nope, it's down. And now jump, jump. There we go. Yeah. All right, I did it. It can be pretty tough and sometimes take a couple tries, but... Okay, now let's see if I can remember how to do this. With that monkey... Oops. Yeah, whatever. Let's just try it. One up. We go to this rhino. So that rhino on the right gives you the one up. This rhino gets you to that pink monkey. Go. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay, now some tricky platforming. Got to go across these logs. Once again, you want to run a split second before you jump to give yourself that extra momentum. Now I think I want to. I don't quite remember. Let's see. A little trial and error here. There we go. Look that monkey. Oh. And then. Maybe it's this. Let's see. Hey, first try. Alright, so that level's not so bad once you know what you're doing and get the hang of those weird jumps. Alright, another bonus level. This time, collecting bugs and trying not to touch the spiders. to touch the spiders than it looks. But if you're good... Oh, no, see? The physics of him running is a little slippery, so... Alright, now we're fighting two of these guys. Bonk. So one... There we go. See, not so bad. Jump over. Get your health refill. That's more health. I don't know why they give you so much health there. Alright, don't touch that. It hurts you. Alright, jerk. Once again, just take slightly to the left of those to grab them easier. Oh. Great. Oh. Okay. Just going for it. There we go. That worked out. Some health hidden behind those bones. Now to climb the uh, cord, or I don't know what you call it. He's not a corridor, but. These things basically just push the opposite direction or push the direction you want to jump, hold it, and then click the B button and just back and forth. Not so bad. Push up to climb up. Two jumps will kill him. Now this time there's consequences. If you mess up, you'll fall to your death. Jump all the way to the right so you don't fall into that bottomless pit. Get the checkpoint. Now you have to race these geysers, so go as fast as you can. Right, left, right, left, pull yourself up, ignore that health, it's not worth the risk. There we go. Don't grab that health unless you need it. Ah, screw it. I think you can just, yeah, you can just run away from these guys. There we go. 
Okay. Get that one up. Careful, that will rip if you bounce on it more than like maybe twice. I'm not sure. Grab this health. There's and if you fall down here on your left, you're at the very beginning of the level. So be careful. Oh yeah, this idle animation. Uh, there's a vulture over there, so you want to bounce on him and just go so he doesn't knock you off. Now you're going to have to fight three hyenas with no health refills. There's two. Come on. Ah. Uh oh. What the hell? There we go. Jeez. Oh. And there it is. Scar watches ominously from above. This level is actually pretty cool. I like the effect of this level. Running towards the camera, avoiding the wildebeest. No health refills in this level, so play conservatively. Pay attention to who's coming up faster, and it shows you where the rocks are coming up from. Basically, you want to uh, it comes on its fifth blink, so you kind of just want to go like one, two, three, four, jump. One, two, three, four, jump. One, two, three, four, jump. bad you'll get the feel for it pretty quickly yeah this is a pretty pretty ingenious level you know you, you think about licensed games a lot of times being like quick cheap cash-ins and this game they really swung for the fences with it which is why a lot of people remember it so fondly there's a lot of gameplay variety even though it is just a uh, platformer there you go pretty simple kill him uh, Jeremy Irons Great voice acting by him. Alright, this level's pretty tough too. You want to keep moving because these rocks will fall where you uh, where you were. Roll into that guy. Uh, otherwise that boulder will hit you and kill you. But yeah, these rocks will fall basically if you spend too much time in one spot. This part's hard. You want to pull back and grab that little rock right there. Otherwise, you'll fall into those spikes. Very annoying. Keep moving to avoid these rocks. Running jumps. Pull yourself up. And then lots of swinging. Get good at swinging because from here on out, it, it, you definitely need to be good at it for... Uh, some of the more difficult levels later on. Oh, come on. Right here, you will just fall to your death. Luckily, this is a pretty short level, and we're almost to the bottom. Just keep on swinging, and there it is. If you ever come back, we'll kill ya! Cheech Marin. Alright, Hakuna Matata. This was the level that I could never get past as a kid. Partially due to the frogs and the spiders just doing a ton of damage all the time. And uh, also, the boss of this level is very punishing. Pretty tough for a kid's game. Oh, I went the wrong way. I might die just from these spiders. Luckily, I have lots and lots of lives. Wow. Yeah, so don't go the wrong way because you just take so much damage and it's hard to see those spiders when they're coming in from the sides of the screen and they're so fast. Oops, didn't mean to come down here. Alright. Spiders do the thing. Oh, come on. The 
This is a very beautiful level though. The backgrounds, the foregrounds, it's very different looking from all the other levels. And look at that, look how beautiful that background is. It looks like something out of like a fantasy RPG or something. Alright, and then a checkpoint. So we're done with that beginning part. Watch out this frog spit. Stay to the right. To get a little shortcut up this waterfall. This was another thing I had trouble with as a kid, but if you look for these two logs right here, you can tell that they're kind of just barely close enough together for you to get good good um ugh. Good strong vertical leaps on. There we go. Ta-da! Alright, you can jump, grab the edge there, grab that bug. Not sure what he does, but I grab him anyways. Every time. Just don't go near that spider. That checkpoint because oh god. Well, didn't mean to roll off the side there. Luckily, I got that checkpoint. Where's that bottom? There it is. Don't grab the spiders. Alright, and the boss. You pretty much have to wait for him to throw these, I guess, the coconuts at you. And then after a minute, he gets upset, jump before he hits the ground, and just land on his back. Otherwise, if you get too close, he will smack the crap out of you. Go over this side of him. Climb on up, follow him up. quick because it's kind of annoying to try and climb up with these coconuts shooting at you. Get underneath him because you don't have to hit him up there. See what I mean about trying to climb up here with the coconuts bouncing around? Go for a gap and go. Oh god. Get on this side of him. This is pretty much it. Shame I had to die twice. Don't see how he tried to smack me. And let him go. Bonus level, which I need because I wasted a couple lives. Alright, scary jump. There we go. That Timon's little hitbox here is not as clear cut as you think. Sometimes you don't feel like you touch the spider, so give him a wide berth. Oh, right on top of it. That's fine. And now we're Adult Simba. Now, Adult Simba can actually smack things, and if you jump on them, you don't do damage like Young Simba. Instead, you kind of pin them down, and you kind of smack them in the face. I'll show you that later. But, and you can also have this move, which both smacks enemies, and certain enemies you'll actually grab and throw over the top of you, which is important later. Still swing around. Let's see, watch this. To take out those jaguars. We're doing a lot of jumping on boulders here in a sec. Well, those monkeys can't hurt you themselves, but they throw rocks that do. So, be, oops. So be wary of the monkeys.
can just, this is weird because this kind of spawns a bunch of jaguars, but if you just stay here and just spam the Y button, just smack, smack, smack. Beaky will eventually come out. Though it does kind of make a weird little like beat, you know? Little, little jaguar killing beat. All right, now be careful because I've been standing too close to this boulder before and when I cut this, it kills you. So stand kind of far back, it's super annoying. Need that to get up here. Another thing I thought was kind of funny about the monkeys is you can scare them to death. Roar. There's a continue down there, but... Eh. Yeah, so you don't let this thing touch you, so you want to cut it and jump away. I like how the checkpoints add the little little mane, like in the movie. They really, like I was saying, that they really did a good job with this game. They put a lot of effort into the minor details. And these jaguars look and sound a lot scarier than they are. Alright, just listen to the beat. Easy. Now this boulder, you can't slash down. You're just going to have to run from it. Which is easy, just hold left. That's all you got to do. Once again, jump and slash. Get the hell out of here, monkey. Go avoid the thorns or whatever. I actually like this level. It's, it's pretty and it's relaxing. The music is good. It's a good way to get, get the hang of playing a Simba. It's basically like another level one. Up here. Expand your roar. Go. Or jaguars. Or leopards, I don't know. Maybe the leopards. Yeah, Rafiki. Alright, and it's the end. You must take your place in the circle of life. Alright, no bug hunt. Oh god. That was a scary drop. I've already gotten a one up, so that's nice. Uh oh. Thought that was gonna be it. Yeah. That's pretty good. Ugh, this level. My god, do I hate this level. You might see me die a bunch this time around. This level is just the worst. It's cheap, it's annoying. You gotta watch out for lava and bats. There's lots of things that kill you instantly. But this beginning part, you really just want to keep moving. There's, there's health stuff, so you can kind of muscle your way through oh, a lot of it. Here we have hyenas again, which are a lot easier this time around. They seem to be tired a lot. I don't know if it's because... I, I don't know what the deal is. Before it was like they had to attack twice and they would kind of get out of breath, but now they just kind of sit around and pant. 
I don't really know what the creators of the game were going for with that. That's my time. You want to wait for a time whenever the guys are going down and a drip, and a drip of lava happens, so that uh, you, don't, uh, you don't get hit by one and avoid the other. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna muscle my way through here, grabbing the health items as I go. Timing. There we go. Got these bats because my god. Oh, I hate bats in video games. Health item. Okay, so this part is kind of a trap. They show you this one up here, so you think that's the way you want to go? No. You want to jump up here, see there's the lag stalactites above each one. You want the one on the left, and I'll show you why in a second. Now, you want to be careful because you have to hit it enough times, but uh, if it touches you, same thing with the boulders in the last level, it, it kills you instantly. So smack it a few times and then pull away from it because it's really annoying to die that way. So that way, it gives you some bugs and a one-up and to the platform that continues you on. But this one gives you a checkpoint, which is so much more valuable in this incredibly annoying level. Drop down, kill the bat. You want to kind of jump out ahead of your platform a little bit, so if the bat does hit you, you just get pushed back onto your platform. There we go, one up. Now, you don't want to dilly-dally, but you do want to kill these guys. So your platform is still going. There we go. Jump out. Kill the bat. Now here's a place where you can die pretty easily. I'm, hopefully I'll do this in one shot and make it look easy, but you gotta be careful not to grab the ledge. Oh god, like that. Ugh. You wanna run far enough left that you avoid grabbing that. Okay, let's do this again. I really can't stress enough how much I dislike this level. Apparently, and I, I could be mis mistaken about this, but I believe they started work on this game uh, before they really knew exactly what the movie was going to be like, and so this level is based on some scrapped storyboard from the actual movie, which is kind of a neat tidbit, if it's true. I'm not, I didn't do any research. Oh my god! Well, that was annoying. At least I got that one up before I died, so I'm not really wasting lives, just time. Yeah, if you get that just right, you can kill those hyenas in one pounce smack maneuver. Okay, once more. There we go. Use your. Come on. Climbing abilities from. From your childhood as a young Simba. That's because you're going to get knocked in right here and have to do this whole part over again. Just stand here and wait for them to kind of walk away. Yeah. I'm pretty much done with combat, so just watch for drippies. Got health. Grab the checkpoint. 
And this part really stumped me as a kid. Basically what you're doing is you're watching for the little bubbles of lava to come out of these little things and avoiding the rocks. Jump there when you see the little bubbles. And you basically just have to keep doing this until what happens, happens. hit you even sometimes when you think you're safe. The hitbox is kind of weird. There aren't a lot of games where you play as a four-legged creature. So it's not a hitbox you're really used to having. Okay, so after it hits the ceiling enough times, these ugh, things come down and plug up the holes. There we go. Basically you're waiting for this one on the far left to get plugged up. When you jump on it, you end this godforsaken level. Simba's return to Pride Rock. So the first thing you want to do, there's three holes here. Go into the first one. Now this level is a big maze, and it's very frustrating and very annoying, and everything kind of looks the same. So, and you also can't go through the little tunnels here until you've cleared all the enemies out of the area. Okay, so here's where you came in. There's another door in the top left. Don't go in there. Just go in here. This is a little detour, actually. You go over here and jump. Look at that. Bigger health bar. And of course, enemies respawn, so you have to kill them every single time you go through a door. Very annoying, especially when you want to backtrack to somewhere. But hopefully, we won't be doing any more backtracking. All right, we're back to that very first room. We're going to go in the far right door, which, if you don't want that health upgrade, you can just go this way to begin with. But I like to get it. Follow the path I'm going, it's the quickest way out of here. Okay, so you want to get to that one on the left, but first you have to kill these two hyenas. Just like right on that one. There we go. There we go. I think I have some health coming up here pretty soon. Ugh, this room. Okay. Alright, this room has lots of doors, and it's very easy to go the wrong way, and I think there might be, like, bugs and stuff to give you upgrades. I don't care. Go in this one right here. I mean, there's only one level left after this. You don't need a bunch more upgrades. If you've made it this far, you're good enough to not need them. Now, for this guy, you want to be careful not to get him just on the edge. There you go. Like I just did. Great. You want to coax him to come down here. Come on. Otherwise, he'll just stay there and block your path. There we go. Super annoying. And he'll just smack you down every time. Alright, final room. If you didn't know where you were going, this level can take you a lot longer, and it's super annoying. Alright, now, this guy, right here, is the only thing standing between you and the last level. Come here, where are you going? Level just kind of ends. Pride Rock. Now this level isn't that hard to understand what it's doing. The mechanics are kind of strange. Just keep jumping on Scar. Don't let him get too much space on you, or else he'll do kind of pounce attacks. Just kind of push him until he starts being pushed back, and then he'll just kind of run away. 
Hope you're good at swinging because this is when it really is necessary. Now the lightning strikes. Now lightning definitely strikes in the same place twice in this game. So if you get hit by lightning, remember where it landed. Whoa. There we go. Well that was lucky. Right, remember where it landed and just be wary that it will come right back to that same spot later if you happen to cross over it. Because if you fall on this level, you don't necessarily die, you just fall back to an earlier part of the level. Don't even worry about killing those guys and just go. Oh, that's annoying. Like if I fell down here. Alrighty, well, there you go. You just fall back to an earlier part of the level. Which is not a big deal. Get the hell out of here. Oh god. Oh my god, jump over him. I don't kill most of the hyenas in this level just because, uh. You don't really come back to them. Uh, battle 2 against Scar. 2 of. Two of three. Now. Now. Come on. There we go. There's no real reason to come up here other than the fact that I took a little damage on that hyena I weirdly got stuck on and wanted some some needles to heal. That one bug to heal me up. Kill him, because it's easy to fall down here a lot. There we go. Yeah, just leave them be. I know it kind of looks like the fire's following you up, but it's not. It's just a neat little effect in the front of the screen. So, the lightning crash is there, so you want to just run down here. Jump up here. Now, it's very easy to feel like you're getting trapped in by the fire, but if you follow the path that I just took you on, you should be fine. You come down here. Dropping down here makes this fire above you blow out. Climb up. Now you want to get to that top right platform. To get there, give yourself a little bit of a runway. Take off running and jump at the last possible instant. Oh, or else that happens. Well, I'm glad you got to see it. Come on. It's easy to get stuck on them, especially when you land on top of them. Okay. Here. It's almost like a combination to a safe. It's like a little puzzle. You go the wrong way, the fire will block you. Oh, come on. Just because you know the combination doesn't make it easy. See, landing here makes that fire blow out. Alright. Now it's time for the final battle. Oops. Same thing as before, you can't kill him the old-fashioned way by just smacking him around, but you do need to smack him. You need to get his health low enough to where he's exhausted, which you'll start to see him pant like that. That really doesn't mean anything yet. Push him back far enough. He'll jump over you, which is good. Kind of want to back him up this way. There's no really, I mean, maybe there is an indicator uh, of how low you need to get him, but you just need to wail on him until he's pretty much just exhausted. Just keep doing this, don't let him get distance on you. Once you start to see the edge, you're getting to where you need to be. I didn't really teach you this earlier, but to throw an enemy, you push the X button while you're kind of inside their sprite. So you don't want to get them too close to the edge or else they'll jump over you. And you get on this side, smack them. So if he knocks you off, you just have to climb back up. There it is. And so that is The Lion King for Super Nintendo. A lot of people remember this game for being really difficult, so hopefully if 
you follow some of the strategies I use, you'll be able to beat this game yourself, which is really what this channel is all about. Just, you know, getting to where you feel comfortable playing games that maybe you were never able to beat before. Look at that. Just like in the movie. Yeah, I love this game. It's really interesting platformer what with the the four-legged mechanics and the, the roaring which I wish they had used a little bit more and there you are you're the king of pride rock so anyways thanks for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of the Lion King Everything the light touches is our kingdom.